I have a sad story to tell you It may hurt your feelings a bit Last night when I walked into my bathroom I stepped in a big pile of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look keen Well, I'm our Frank Mars. Uh, this site is being uncooperative in the extreme. The ads and everything else is jumping around. So, this might be a little bit tough. I'll give you a breakdown of what's going on here. Meat and Livestock Australia uh, released an ad with a bunch of religious leaders sitting down at the table talking, eating, so on and so forth. Including Jesus, Aphrodite, some Hindu elephant god, Buddha, Norse, and what well, looks like Donald Trump. At any rate, uh... So they're sitting there talking, you see it a video on the lower right hand corner, and there's an atheist at the table too. And she basically sitting there laughing at all these different characters. It's very interesting. Now, uh one that they left out was you guessed it, Muhammad, because they didn't want to piss off the Muslims apparently. That's pretty funny. Uh, I wonder if the Muslims would be offended by being left out of this ad. I'm going to read some of the comments if I can get the site to cooperate. <laughs> I actually find all of this quite amusing. I'm an agnostic, folks. This ad, the advertisement attracted a huge backlash with viewers slamming it as ignorant. This is really disgusting, guys. Bring down, please bring down this ad. As ignorant as you are, the elephant god does not eat meat. One man said. This is disrespectful of the Hindu religion, hurting our sentiments and senseless campaign. Your team has got it totally wrong by lying, Lord Ganesha. He's having a lamb at a dinner table while the gods on the man's side. For your information, Hindu gods and meat do not go together. There's the uh, atheist, by the way. So scroll down. Others demanded happy withdrawn immediately. I demand the, an unconditional apology and that you revoked this, this campaign immediately, one man said. Apparently they've done all those ads uh, for, uh, they're selling land, basically. And they've done that, other ads like this. In the ad, God's folk poke fun at Ganesha and say, so can we address the elephant in the room? To which Hindu God replies, it's not funny. I, it wasn't funny two and a half thousand years ago, and it's not funny now. That also makes a joke at Scientology's expense. When Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard discovers Aphrodite is famous, he offers some glam and says, Have you ever thought about Scientology? Hubbard is urged to steer clear of the religious based discussion on the table, to which he replies, I gave up dinner with Tom Cruise for this. So there he is, Donald Trump. It kind of looks like it was supposed to be, uh, Del Ron Hubbard. Shows how much I know. Well, gods from most religions in the appearance of Muhammad, prophet, and founder of Islam did not. The depiction of Muhammad has been the contentious issue with Islamic teachings prohibiting Muslims from drawing him. His lack of appearance in the end prompted backlash. Muslims, 
before I had obviously scared of funding Muslims leaving Muhammad out when all other religions are fair game on me and said. Yeah, it's as well. Yeah. Oh well. They had garnered more than 400 complaints while it was much cleared by the Australian Advertising Standards Bureau. So, there you have it. It's not going to be taken down, apparently. They had all sorts of people pissed off at him. Pretty much every religion is the yeah, itching about this. Except, uh, Islam was, was being left out of it. Unbelievable, but funny. I'm an agnostic, folks. Uh, I want to explain something to you. None of you people can produce a God. You produce a God, show me that he's my friend, and then we'll have something to talk about. By producing a God, I don't mean open up a book and read from it. That's not producing a guy. <laughs> he has to appear to me in person and prove to me that he is a God. None of you can do that. None of you can produce a guy. Sorry, you can't do it. I'm our facts Mars. <laughs> Somewhat amused. Thanks for watching.